Today we're talking about a very convenient and effective way to practice your transceiver skills. How to use a BCA beacon training park. To find a beacon training park, go to the support section on our website and look for our dealer locator. From there, select the category called Beacon Training Park. You click on Use My Location, it will show you all the training parks in your region. Or you can enter the nearest town or resort and it will bring up a list of all the training parks located nearby. Thanks for coming out to our local ski area today, A Basin. Buying a transceiver like Tracker 4 is really just the first step. What is a Beacon Training Park? These are installations usually located at ski areas, like this one at our local resort, Arapaho Basin. They consist of up to eight transmit boxes buried in about a 50 by 50 meter area. They can be turned on and off remotely using a control panel that's kept on site and has a series of switches inside. Beacon searching is very important, but it's not always easy to do. For solid practice, you need to do multiple searches and for multiple victims. The training park addresses most of these issues by enabling you to do many searches in a small amount of time. It also provides great opportunities to practice your probing. When you pinpoint the signal and start probing, you should hit a two foot by two foot wooden probe target. This is connected to a motion sensor in the transmit box, which will trigger a beep at the control box. If you don't hit the probe target, practice good probing technique and probe in concentric circles 10 inches apart. One skill you shouldn't practice here is shoveling. The transmitters are usually installed by a host group permanently for the season. They'll move them if they need to be moved. And by shoveling, you give away the locations of the transmitters. If you cover up your probe marks, there's no evidence. For great instructional videos on beacon searching, probing, and shoveling, see the videos page on our website.